something that integrates into everything. And that's mainly because cyber criminality had moved quite a lot forward. Welcome, Jesper, to Architecture Corner. Thank you. And you're a an security expert. At least I try to be. The security area is seen as more complex today than before. Why is it like this? One of the major concerns is that security has moved from only being infrastructure part, just protecting your servers, to be something that integrates into everything. And that's mainly because cyber criminality had moved quite a lot forward. When internet started, you only need a guy who know how to set up a firewall. But today you need more competencies. Yes, absolutely. The, the old infrastructure guy, he, he's still there, or girl for that matter. Uh, but nowadays you also need those that knows application security. Then you need to have people that knows how to manage logging. You need to know how to do security architecture, understanding the business, understanding the business requirements, understand laws and regulations, and how to manage different type of compliance together with the business processes you have. And also how to do risk analysis to understand what type of risk there really are. Pia Wingestål talked about hiring superheroes that could do everything. Can you find those persons in the security areas? Beside me, you mean? Yes, you could still find them, but most of those have been working for 15, 20 years or something. Uh, and the biggest problem is that those people tend to be very expensive, mainly because they've been working for so long in the area. Another problem is that even if you have this superhero, he or she is ha are struggling to keep up to date with everything that happens in the area. You, you, today, you can't even know just what to patch anymore. Not without tools that uh, tells you that there's a new patch there, there's a new patch there. And it's e even worse when you start looking at all the business processes in a really large company. If you have a really good guy that's working and can handle this, how do you get the continuity when he's on vacation? Uh, you probably don't. To, to be, be able to have the continuity, either you hire a consultant uh, that knows and has all the skills, and for that person to be able to actually do some real work during this, this time, you need to have that consultant uh, on board for about half a year or something. So that's a big problem when working with superheroes. If you employ them and trust everything with them, you need to have a backup that more or less costs the same and is has the same availability. What happens when this superhero resigns because you have to retain the talent? You're in big trouble. You, you normally are in big trouble when your superheroes resign, but especially in the security areas, recruiting a new one takes about one to two years normally. So the superhero, you probably need him? You need him, absolutely you need him, but to manage your team. And your team could, should be partly employ, employees or partly consultants to make sure that you have all the competence. Uh, when we're looking at the competence you need, there are some type of competence you only need about, let's say, 5% of the week. Uh, there are other competence that you probably need about 20-30% of the week. And there are yet other com uh, competences you need just for a short time during an incident or something. Uh, so I would say one of the best way to get the team up and running uh, is to have a combination of consultants and uh, employees. So you need, you need both the competencies in-house, but you should also add the competencies from outside. Yes, there are, you, you need to stay on top on, uh, on your skill set and make sure you have been doing everything. And if you should be, have the competence to, for example, make an investigation, you probably need to have been doing investigation for quite some time and probably should be doing it every week. And a normal company doesn't have that many incidents. So this guy would probably just sit idle waiting and he will see his competence deteriorate and then he, will, he or she will leave the company. When you have an incident, you should know who, who to call in beforehand. Yes, absolutely. And because you will also be in a stressful situation, you need to have a plan so you know both who to call and what to do the first minutes or hours. Thank you very much and see you next time. Thank you.